Now we're going to use what we remembered about the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. So what do you remember about parallel lines or their slopes of parallel lines? Yeah, they were the same. And perpendiculars were negative reciprocals of each other. So let's use that information to see if we can come up with the equation of a line who passes to the point negative 3 and 1, but it's also parallel to a line y equals 2x plus 1. So in order to use point slope, do we have a point? Yes. So check. Do we have a slope? Yes, we do. Because we know that our slope is parallel to this line. If the slope of that line is 2, the slope that we're looking for is also 2. So we have a slope equals a 2. So from there, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Yes, that's something I want you to know. You don't have to keep looking at that formula. This is something we use quite often, so it should be something that's fairly easy to commit to memory. So from there, let's plug in what we have. y minus a 1 equals my slope, which is a 2, times x minus a minus 3. And then cleaning that up, So try add one to both sides. And there is the equation of a line that's parallel to 2x plus 1, but this one goes to the point negative 3 and 1. Slope-intercept form, if we wanted to write that in standard form, um, I can subtract 2x from both sides. And standard form begins with a positive coefficient of x, so I multiply everything through by negative 1. And there's a standard form of the equation of a line that meets those two criteria. This one's got a few things that we need to figure out what to do. I want to find the equation of a line that passes through a known point, 3 and negative 5, but is perpendicular to the line x plus 4y equals 8. So I remember that perpendicular lines that were negative reciprocals of each other, or their slopes were, okay? Ah, uh, I can't find the slope of that line right there. That's in standard form, and, and the slope I can identify if it's written in slope-intercept form. You're right. So let's go ahead and write that, first of all, and let's just deal with that. So I have x plus 4y equals 8. Solve that for y, which is slope-intercept form. Subtract its x from both sides. Divide both sides by 4, which gives me a y equals a 1 fourth negative x plus a 2. All right, so the slope of this line is negative 1 fourth. So what's the slope of the line perpendicular to that? Remember that the slopes, so m times the slope of the other one equals a negative 1. So if one slope is negative 1 fourth, what does the other one have to be for that to be true? Well, it was a negative reciprocal of each other, so it's a 4 over a 1, or just a 4. So now I have the slope that I'm looking for equals a 4. I'm going to put a little bit of a perpendicular right there. Perpendicular, the, the notation we use for perpendicular is that. So I'm just going to put that in the subscript to let me know that that's the perpendicular slope and the slope I'm looking for is not with that notation. So what do we do? Slope in, or point slope for me, right? y minus y1 y minus my y1 point is a negative 5, and x minus a 3. Whoops, I knew what my slope was. My slope is a 4. Let's put a 4 in there. All right, let's clean that up. y plus 5 equals a 4 times an x minus a 3. y plus 5 equals 4x minus 12. Subtract 5 from both sides. Equals 4x minus 17. And there's my slope-intercept form of a line 
that meets these two requirements, passes to the point 3, negative 5, and is perpendicular to that line x plus 4y equals 8. And then for fun, because we're getting good at it, let's write that in standard form, which are my x's and my y's on one side. So let's subtract y from both sides and add 17 to both sides. And there's standard form. All right, you guys like it, the x's in front? All right, I can do that. There you go.